Hello. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Yes, for sure. My name is Andre. I'm the founder and CEO of Machina Sports. Uh, great. Uh, so uh, let's speak about uh, Machina Sports. Uh, what is this startup? What you do? Sure. Yeah, we're building a generative AI platform built specifically for sports. So it's a B2B developer toolkit serverless uh, generative AI platform. So uh, sports organizations can build AI agents in our platform, deploy that, and then you have an API endpoint where you can integrate your existing stack, your existing website, your existing app, and that enables a lot of new use cases for fan engagement, uh, content generation at scale, gamification use cases, all based on real-time statistics of the events, the matches, mm -hmm. also news from the web, unstructured data odds and all these different contexts for sports. So we synchronize everything mm -hmm. in a semantic layer for your sports use case. Uh, what type of sports you, you support? I mean, we are agnostics, uh, yeah. sports agnostic. We can cover any type of sports, but we've done already a lot of sports, a lot of use cases on soccer, mm -hmm. uh, as well as NBA data. We, we worked with that already, as well as NFL. So the idea is that we have already existing API providers for sports data. Mm -hmm. So we partner with Sports Radar, and the idea is that our B2B customers already are clients of there. Mm -hmm. So we create an easy way to ingest that data create a semantic layer based on what the uh, organization cares about, and then we can generate a lot of different outputs on top of that. Like for one of our clients is a sports book, so they use for sports betting, generating content in multiple languages for match previews mm -hmm. and match recaps, giving tips how to bet, mm -hmm. uh, and etc. So there's a lot of different use cases. Once you have the semantic layer for the sports synchronized, mm -hmm. you can uh, target to generate a lot of different outputs. Yeah, and so, uh, what about uh, to analyze performance of the players? Yeah, we haven't done that a use case there yet. We are talking now with a gym, uh, MMA gym in Brazil. They mm -hmm. want to use our stack to help their fighters to analyze upcoming fights. Mm -hmm. So how they should, you know, tackle the upcoming fights. So generating in natural language some sort of reports. This is something upcoming. We haven't done the use case yet. What we have done is sports books for betting as well as for streaming services. So one of, the, one of our clients is called DAZN. They are one of the largest sports streaming providers in the world. And they are using our AI agents for gamification, creating trivia, polls in multiple languages for the fans. Yeah, cool and interesting story. You have different uh, big customers and partners. Uh, what about some fails? Uh, what fails you got pre uh, for I in your history? Well, and what lessons learned you did from Yeah, that? I mean, I would say that maybe a fail in the beginning. We didn't plan initially to create the whole stack how it is today. So initially, we were using like a single, I would say, instance of MongoDB, for example, to have, and then we will have different tenants within that instance. But then growing more with the enterprise use cases, we realized that we need to containerize that. So make individual pods for each organization. Actually, we do it at a project level. So then you have, once you deploy an agent, we instantiate your own pod, we own MongoDB instance, Redis, Celery, agent, agent runtime. So then it's air gapped. So that one is kind of a learnings that we got after talking to a lot of enterprise customers that they want to have one idea is to first isolate their data, but also have the ability to then uh, bring that to their own data, right? To their own cloud, sorry. So that's why I also built the whole thing uh, Kubernetes, Docker, so you can deploy multi-cloud uh, if, if needed for uh, privacy use cases. Yeah, and uh, for now, what uh, type of customers are you looking for? Yeah, so definitely B2B is where we do the managed service. We kind of uh, work with the, these uh, brands to build agents for mm -hmm. them. A lot, a lot of white gloving there. But we also launched our developer studio, so it's open to any developer to sign mm -hmm. up get an API key and start building that. So we have a Discord now with 60 developers learning our documentations. That's also some startups starting to build on our stack. Uh, oh, it's, it's so yeah, cool. yeah, that's so, also, so, we're trying to... So it's possible also for developers to build. Exactly, yeah. We wanted to also learn with developers how we should build this better. So of course, we, we have already designed partners, but the idea is also to be open developer community first. Uh, so yeah, we have our Discord available. Anybody can sign up and get some free credits with us. Yeah, it's something very interesting. Uh, maybe you can uh, more in more detail uh, describe uh, what uh, functionality can uh, have developers. Uh, maybe you have some cases what was uh, previously developed by, based on your platform. Yeah, so there is one startup that are doing uh, fantasy sports uh, like uh, 
plug and play, so you can build your fantasy league really easily. And they want to bring our AI insights to generate like simulations, right? Uh, fantasy simulations. So that's one use case that you can bring because, again, once you have the sports statistics synchronized in a in a semantic way, in a vector DB with all the rag pipeline built in, then you can get a lot of different outputs. So now we're exploring fantasy with this startup, as well as quizzes, not really for like uh, apps, so similar to Dazone where we're doing uh, for their existing application. There are some startups that are doing quizzes on the stadium, so when on the big screen, on the halftime, and today they do it based on historical data. They want to integrate our AI to bring more engaging quizzes based on what happened in the mm -hmm. first half. So that's also some other stuff. So startups are building similar use cases than enterprise, mm -hmm. but now they can do much faster. They don't need to maintain that stack. Uh, yeah. So and also we are looking for independent developers that want to create their own fan apps. You know, just for your team to just track your stuff. Mm -hmm. This is also something we want to be open as well. Do you have some marketplace, <laughs> or it's, it's a cloud? Uh, right now, not a marketplace, but that's a great idea. We have open source templates, so we okay. built a lot of these agent templates oh, by, yeah, based on what we know. Good. So we open source. Anybody can build on top of that. But a marketplace could be a great idea. Like if you build something cool, we can think about a revenue share. If a mm -hmm. sports organization we use your agent, but we haven't gone that route yet. If anybody has an idea, yeah, we can definitely think about that. Yeah, so uh, how, uh, where the developers need to go to start to try your platform and yeah, all stuff? Yeah, go to our website, makina.gg, and then uh, there we have a link for the Discord. Uh, yeah, we can give you free credits to start building, so you don't need to uh, worry about that. And uh, yeah, reach out to me as well on LinkedIn, Andrea Antonelli, uh, always open to talk. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, man, I appreciate it.